Hi, thank you very much for choosing to learn motion design and After Effects with me. I hope you installed the software and downloaded the files successfully because now we are starting the first lesson. Before we open the software, I want to tell you about the utilities that will help me communicate with you and explain things to you throughout the course. For example, on the lower right side, you will see a small window that shows what I press on the keyboard and the mouse throughout the lessons. If I write something or press a certain button, you will see it here on the side. Another thing is I will display the keyboard on the screen. Sometimes I will talk about some strange key, such as this one. I will show a keyboard and keys accordingly for Mac users. What else do we have? As you can see, when I click, you can see a white circle that lights up around the mouse cursor. That's how you know that I click the left click. If I click on the right click, then you will see the circle in blue. If I want to focus on something, we will see it in the following way. Another thing is the zoom. In After Effects, there are many icons, and most of them are small. So for us to be 100% sure, I will make such a cool zoom. I can even get a little closer if I want. One last and very important thing that will accompany us throughout the course is these two markings. The blue and the green. In cases where I would like you not to follow me and just listen and look at what I am explaining, then you will see a blue mark on the screen. This will signal you not to touch the mouse or the keyboard, not to do it together with me. Just listen and understand what I am explaining. When you see the green sign, you'll know it's your time to grab the mouse and do it with me. Please take this seriously because this way, you will learn the software much faster and understand what you are doing more clearly. Alright, enough with the talking. Let's open the software and start getting to know After Effects. So the first thing that we will see when we open the program is the home window. We don't use it too much except for opening the last projects we worked on. This area will probably be empty for you because you have yet to work on any project. If we click here, we can see some Adobe tutorials. You can also access them from here. From here, we can quickly log into our Adobe account. Now, let's create our first project. We can do it from here or we can do it in the most common way. Let me show you how. So let's close this window. If your window is not the maximum size, then scale it up so we can see all the panels. Before creating a new project, click here on default so we all can see the same panel arrangement. Now let's create a new project. So as in all Adobe programs, such as Photoshop and Illustrator, and not even Adobe programs, such as Word or Excel. We will always create some new page, a new file, a new canvas, a new document, etc. So we have to do that in After Effects as well. In After Effects, it's called Composition. So let's create a new composition and click on New Composition. The first thing that comes up is this window, which asks us, what will be the composition settings you want to create? All these settings can be changed at any stage of the project. Here we choose the name of the composition. The name I will choose is Master Comp. Why Master Comp? Because this will be our main composition. Within this composition will be all the scenes and other compositions we will create later. Here we choose the size of our composition. You may see this panel as it is displayed in the current screen pop-up. That's totally fine. This does not matter to us right now because we'll change the resolution manually from here. We will create a full HD resolution, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. What exactly is 1920 by 1080? This is the dimensions of the width and height of the composition we create which will be the size of the final video at the end. 
As you can see in the examples on the screen, different resolutions are suitable for certain cases. 1080 by 1080 this was the size of the posts in the old Instagram feed. In the new feed, it is 1080 by 1350. For stories and TikTok videos, the size is width 1080 and the height is 1920. And if you are uploading videos to YouTube, it is better to work on a resolution of 1080 in height and 1920 in width. It's called Full HD Resolution. If we want to create a video in 4K, the sizes need to be Full HD multiplied by 2. So if I want to create a composition in 4K, I need to multiply these values by 2, and I can do it with the help of an asterisk key. Fun fact, in After Effects, an asterisk is a multiplication. Now I will write 2. As you can see, if I click here on the side, it changed to 3840. Awesome. I will multiply that number as well. And so I get 2160. So now we have a size of 4K. I can also divide it in two with a slash. In After Effects, in every column where we can change values, we can use it as a calculator. These with the help of these hotkeys. Now let's understand what is lock aspect ratio. As soon as I check this box, the ratio of the numbers I entered here will be preserved. For example, the ratio of this size is 16 to 9. So let's see if I check the box and change the numbers. See that the height gets smaller together with the width and the ratio we determined earlier. Now let's do a different example. Let's uncheck the box and create different dimensions for our composition. Let's say 1080 by 1080. Now the ratio of these dimensions is 1 to 1. If I don't check this option, I can change the dimensions separately. But if I check the option, both dimensions will change together regarding their aspect ratio. That is, they maintain the same ratio from the beginning. This means before I check the box. Now I will bring it back to 1920, and we moving on. Here, we choose the frame rate for this composition. I explain this topic in depth in this lesson. If you haven't seen it yet, I suggest you watch it to understand it more clearly. We will work on 24 frames per second. Remember, the more frames per second we work on, the smoother the animation will look. But for After Effects, it will be more challenging to render the scene, and it will slow down your computer, because there are more frames to render. So in our case, we will work on 24 frames per second. The resolution here is not important to us. It is something we change throughout our work in After Effects constantly. This is not the resolution of the final render. This is just the resolution of the project preview. Soon we will understand what I'm talking about. Here, we choose how long our composition will be. Let's set the length of our composition to be 3 minutes. It is important to understand that this part symbolizes the hours. This is the minutes. This is the seconds, and this is the frames. So after we set the duration for the composition, you must ask yourself, Wait. How do we know the duration of the project we want to create? It's very simple. It depends a lot on the project itself. And if you don't know how long your video should be, that's okay because we can change the length at any time later. What is important to know is that you should always give yourself extra time. For example, if you are doing a project where the client requests that the video length be 2 minutes, then create a composition of 3 minutes long. I don't know how long the video will be at the end of our project, but I know it will be a maximum of a minute. But for safety, I will give myself an extra two minutes. Alright, moving on. The background color doesn't matter to us now. It's not a background that will be rendered at the end. Once again, all the settings here can be changed throughout the project. So now let's click OK and see what happens. 
If you see the screen like this with the red note below, know that this is happening because the caps lock button is on. Press the caps lock button to turn it off, and then you will be able to see the screen normally. If you see the white screen bigger or smaller than mine, it's simply because you may be at a different zoom than mine. Let's click on fit, so we can see all the same. As I said earlier, we can always change our composition settings, so let's see how to do it. To enter the composition settings, we need to use the shortcut Control K. The shortcuts will only work if you are in the English language on your keyboard. Otherwise, the shortcuts won't work. So after we change the language to English, let's use a keyboard shortcut and press Control K. Now we can see the same window we were in before. If we want to change something, we need to make sure that the preview box here is checked because if it's not checked and I will change something, I won't see what I'm doing. But if it's checked and I change something, I'll be able to see the changes in real time. We'll leave it as it was. Just remember, if we want to change something and see the change, we will check the preview box. With this, we finish the first lesson, where we learn how to create a new project. In the next lesson, we start learning about all the panels that exist in the software. The first panel we will learn about is the main program panel. After this, we will learn about the project panel. Then, the preview panel. Next, we will learn about the composition timeline panel. Then the main tools bar panel. And last but not least, the layer panel. We will also cover these two areas here. I wish you the best of luck, and see you in the second lesson, when we will learn about the main program panel.